So welcome back. Uh, so I am now connected with uh, Dr. Ali from Iraq. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you. Uh, can you introduce about your background? Your yeah, I'm actually a manufacturing engineer. Okay. I have uh, the, the scholarship from Stuttgart University, and uh, I am now a lecturer at the university. Mm -hmm. Also, I am in, 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 in yeah. Iraq, and I am also director for career development director. Okay. Okay. Also, and uh, um, postgraduate affairs director. So I, I currently run two directors simultaneously, and also lecture at the university. Okay. I'm also a trainer for entrepreneurship, 3D printing, and so on. Okay. So you, how long you studied in Germany? Uh, actually, it was about four years. Okay. Four years. I have been engaged in my doctorate study, doctorate engineers, which is a technical one. Okay. Then, uh, when once I finished, I returned to Iraq. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, one, one more thing I want to know about, like, your experience in, uh, in Germany as a uh, student, as a post uh, doctorate? As, as, a post, as a post graduate student, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mainly busy with uh, doing uh, doctorate studies. But uh, like, did you feel uh, you know any discrimination or any differences in settling in, in Germany? No, 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 not at all. No. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the German people. Uh, once uh, first, when I arrived to my professor, he told me one interesting story about the difference between the Germans and the Americans. Okay. He told me that the Germans are like just like coconuts. Okay. Their heart is outside, but okay. when you indulge yourself with the Germans, then you can find a heart very soft. Okay. In contrast to the uh, to the Americans, you can see you can see peace. Okay. They are soft outside. But when you when you go in deeper, then you are <laughs> getting to the core. Okay. Which is, uh, yeah, that will be very useful. useful. Uh, in explanation because yeah. we are like a coconut island, so it's easy for us to understand. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to ask you, uh, particularly after this uh, post uh, east uh, east attack in Sri Lanka, yeah. since you are coming from Iraq, now uh, we are trying to learn about ISIS and uh, the activities and how they normally uh, you know attack or activate. Yes. Well, as a guy from Iraq, so what is your experience and how you kind of explain? Yeah. First one must start with the uh, with the ideology, mm -hmm. ideology of ISIS. The ideology of ISIS came mainly over ninety five percent of it okay. comes from Wahhabism. Yeah. Wahhabism yeah. is directly okay. directly sponsored by the Saudis yeah. and uh, this is a fact. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. learning about this. Yeah, yeah exactly. this is a fact. Yeah. And after the emergence of these states as uh, all wealthy nations. Mm -hmm. They started to promote their ideology wow. and to distribute these mm -hmm. ideologies all over the world. Right. So eventually, mm -hmm. eventually, when they became rich, part of the youth in the, in the, in the, in the total area, mm -hmm. they felt themselves deprived from this wealth. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the original problem is. The poverty, mm -hmm. the poverty, which came from the unjustified distribution of wealth. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the, the that's the, the core, okay. the core cause of the emergence Sorry. of this ideology. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because people were desperate. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. People were unemployed. Mm -hmm. People were, uh, were were just just seeking, especially the young among the young, mm -hmm. just seeking. An aspiration. So, how they found that they, they, some of them took refuge in this ideology. Okay, but uh, we have to do it faster because of level time. But also, I want like you to mention they are very ruthless in terms of their tactics and their operation. No, 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 no. They are actually when most of their tactics in the war are now studied and demand by Marines by military. So. I can describe to you, they are the fiercest mm, okay. mm, fighters yeah. in the region. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Why? Because they are not fighting to live, they are fighting to die. Right, exactly. That, 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 that's the, the difference. Okay. They are fighting to die. So once you are, you, you imagine yourself died and you go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Enjoy all the, all the benefits, benefits, benefits of the <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Then you can you can you can imagine yeah. Imagine how how how, how dangerous this idea. How dangerous as well as are committed. Yeah. So there's no way to stop yeah. They are, they are very intelligent, especially in the okay. warfare. Okay. Especially now now how kind of you like a professional also engineer. So how you can have your normal life uh, in your home without getting you know for example like killed or attacked by I guess the <laughs> Normal people are mainly from the Sufism. Okay, okay. They, are, they are Sufis. Ah, they, are, okay, okay. they are specific, specific guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They, they are not. They are not really interested. Mm -hmm. My father, my. I'm describing myself as a as a one who is on the religion of my grandmother because my my grandmother didn't know all, about all the details of the religion. They, she just had a spirit and spirit between the religion was between her. And the board so yeah, yeah, spirit and God. No more. Yeah, yeah, no, but nowadays you can. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for Thank your you time and ideas. Thank you.